Good morning, Kingdom Kids family and friends. Do you know the song? It's one of my favorite songs to sing during Christmas. It talks about what Christmas is all about, the birth of Jesus, God's Son. Today is our third Sunday of Advent, the season we remember, wait, and celebrate who? Jesus. Do you have your worship candle? and offering ready? Let's start our worship with our worship countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Do you remember what color candle I lit the last two weeks? Yes, purple. Can you guess what color candle I will light today? <laughs> Good guess if you said purple. Today, we light the candle of joy because Christmas is a time of joy and Jesus is the reason that we have joy. Now, if you have an adult who's sitting next to you, let's ask them to help you light your worship candle as we prepare our hearts and homes to worship God. Together, let's say John chapter 8, verse 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. John chapter 8, verse 12. Now let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for calling each of us to worship you on this third Sunday of Advent. Thank you for our friends, our family, our church, and our community. Thank you for friends who are worshiping with us from far, far away. Thank you, God, that through the internet that we can come together to sing our praises to you. This morning, open up our hearts and our minds and our eyes so that as we praise you, as we read your word, as we listen to you speaking to us, help us to continue to love you and to know you and to trust you. We thank you for this time and we pray that our worship would be pleasing to you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, are you ready to praise God? Here's a little secret. It's actually my favorite time of the week. I love singing and dancing with you on Sundays because God is awesome and he loves you and me. My friends, how do you know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's right. Let's tell the world what Christmas is all about. Oh, yeah. God loves us so much. He sent us his son. I want to celebrate Because it's Christmas Day So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And shout, shout, shout So excited, I just can't hide it now So I'm gonna sing, sing, sing And dance all around I know Jesus is what Christmas is about
He's the savior of the world And now we can call him friend God sent his son He's the savior of the world And now we can call him friend Jesus Son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. God sent his son, he's the savior of the world, and now we can call him friend. Jesus. about? Yes, Christmas is all about Jesus. The Bible teaches us that God has given a son to us. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Let's say our Bible memory verse together with motions. Here we go. God has given a son to us. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Great job, everyone. Moms and dads, did you do the memory verse with us? Great job. Last Sunday, we learned the true story from the Bible about baby Jesus. Can you tell me what letter Jesus starts with? Yell it out. Yep, that's right. J is for Jesus. 
Do you remember what the letter A in our first week of Advent stood for? It was the story of someone who told Mary that she was going to have baby Jesus. Do you remember who told Mary? It starts with the letter A. Angel! Yes! An angel told Mary that she was going to have baby Jesus. Can you guess what letter we will be talking about today? It's the letter S. Can you think of any words that starts with the letter S? Shout it out, everyone! Want to play a game with me? You count to 10 and I will run and try to find as many S words as I can around the house. Ready to count? Go! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ah! That was hard. Let's see what I found. I'll show it to you and you shout out what the S object is. Ready? Salt. That's right. What about this one? It's hard. It looks like salt, but it's sweet. Sugar. Yes. What about this? It's a snack. What about this? It's a spoon. That's right. And I also found soap. And I even found socks. <laughs> wow, I found six items. You guys really know your S words. Great job, my friends. Today, we will be hearing a true story from the Bible about some people who got to meet baby Jesus. And guess what letter their name starts with? Yes, S. Let's listen carefully to find out who they are. I'm Aisha and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see what I've cooked up today? Ta-da! <laughs> These are my S's for Shepherd's Cupcakes. Aren't these little sheep so cute? I made them because today we are hearing the next part of the Christmas story and there are shepherds in it. Are you ready for a story? If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, Three, tell me a story. The true story of Christmas happened many years ago when Jesus was born. Now, because Jesus is God's son, you would think that he would be born in a special place like a castle. And there would be a big party with confetti and lots of people there. But is that what happened? Is that where Jesus was born? No! Jesus was born in a stable in the town of Bethlehem. There wasn't a party, but there were some animals. And the only people there were Mary and Joseph. Do you think that is the end of the Christmas story? <laughs> no! God wanted everyone to know that his son Jesus had been born. That night, there were shepherds in a field. S is for shepherds. Everyone say, S is for shepherds. S is for shepherds. Now, what do you think a shepherd's job is? They watch over some kind of animal. Do they take care of giraffes? No. Do they take care of frogs? No. What do shepherds watch over? <laughs> Sheep. That's right. What sound do sheep make? Ba, ba, yes, good sheep. Wait, look, what's happening? It's an angel. An angel appeared in the sky and said to the shepherds, I bring you good news of great joy. Jesus is born. Then suddenly the whole sky was full of angels 
who started praising God and saying glory to God in the highest. When the shepherds heard this, they ran to find baby Jesus. When they found him, they were amazed. They wanted everyone to know that Jesus had been born. So they ran and told everyone that God gave us Jesus. And that's how we know God loves us. God gave us Jesus. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, how do we know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So, did you figure out what our S word is for today from our Bible story? Yes. S is for shepherds. Say it with me. S is for shepherds. Do you remember what shepherds do? They take care of sheep. Yes, there is another S word in today's story. Do you remember where the shepherds found baby Jesus? Abel, stable. Great job, everyone. The shepherds found baby Jesus in a stable where animals stay, just like the angels told them. Here's the last question. When the shepherds saw baby Jesus, God's son, do you remember what they did? It's hard. They were so happy that they ran to town to tell everyone the good news. My friends, how do you know God loves us? God gave us Jesus. Isn't this amazing news? Yes, that's right. Everyone shout good news. Good news! So what can we do with this good news? We can do what the shepherds did. We can go and tell others that God loves them so much that God gave them Jesus. If you think you can do that, give me a fist bump. Great job, my friends. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving everyone and wanting them to know that you gave us Jesus. Help us tell everyone you gave us Jesus, just like the shepherds did. We love you, God, and we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. What an awesome God we worship. Are you ready to give God your thank you and offering? If you are, let's think of one thing you want to thank God for and lift up your offering as we sing thankful. I like to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that I love Him. I just want to lift my heart in praise. And I want to be thankful. I want to be thankful. I want to remember everything that the Lord has done. I want to be thankful. I want to be grateful. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be. Together, let's close our preschool worship with the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who needs the heaven, hell be thy name. The kingdom comes, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give it the day, get your bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trust us against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, power and the glory forever. Amen. 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 I love you, my friends, but guess what? 
God loves you more. Have a great Zoom Sunday School doing crafts to learn more about how God gave us Jesus. See you all next week. Bye.